My students know this. Um, I'm saying it because it can be beneficial for other people, uh, possibly. When we practice Qigong, if our goal is to accumulate energy in the Dantian, we have to put shoes like this, something that has some kind of isolation. Why I'm saying this? Because, you know, it can be quite romantic to go in the tree, in the woods, you know, stay like this and whatever, with, with the feet on the ground, all these kind of things, but it's quite uh, inefficient in the sense that we, we have to understand that there is a technology behind this thing. It's part of the existence and there is a certain way that this thing works. So we have to apply the right thing to get to the right result. If our goal is to accumulate chi, we have to isolate ourselves from the floor. And the reason is very simple and I will show you a couple of videos that will make sense about this. This is a video of Shifu Constantino Valente, the latest emission he did with me. He wanted to make me jump from that bed, from that, bed that day. Um, usually when uh, Shifus do uh, Chi emissions, there is always one person holding the, the ankles, right? The feet. And the role is actually um, functioning as the ground in our electricity socket. That day, there was nobody. We were just in the in the in, this, in the in the studio in the in the gym, and uh, he he pulled out um, like a piece of wire with an electric plug, you know. But instead of being connected, the positive, negative, whatever you can inverse it, only the ground was connected to this wire, and then it, the, it was connected to a plate, metal plate. So what I did was this, he basically put under my ankles a piece of fabric, wet, right? To conduct the, the electricity through it. And then he put the, the plate attached to it, and then he put the, the wire into the socket. And I said, what's going on? He explained to me that actually the ground attracts the, the chi. So when, when he does the chi emissions, he goes through the arms, and then it travels throughout the, the body and then it leaves. It doesn't stay there that much. Although for a few days uh, you have it inside uh, appearing from time to time. Um, in other cases you see, for instance, Shifu Joe uh, and, and his wife uh, is acting as, uh, you know, as the ground or Shifu Constantino Malente is acting as the ground. So the reason why we isolate ourselves from the floor, it's very simple. Uh, it might sound a bit counterintuitive. One day I had one of my students ask me, um, you know, but um, um, you know, wood is... Uh, because there is one condition, only one condition we don't isolate ourselves when we practice on the, on the wooden floor. So we can stay barefoot in that case, because the wood isolates. And my student asked me why is a natural element. This thing is not about being a natural element. In that case, wood doesn't um, uh, make electricity travel through, through, so we can be fully isolated and we can actually keep everything inside rather than going outside. I hope that this thing can be a little bit uh, useful for you if you practice some other kind of Qigong. Uh, my students know this. It's one of the first things that I say before the class actually show, show up with some good insulation for your feet, either shoes, and they always practice in this situation because the goal of Ne Qigong is accumulate Qi. Um, I'm not sure if there are other Qigong uh, styles that are just focused on health, but if we think about this logically, uh, Qi is what re regulates the well-being of a human being. So the more we have, the better we work, either on a physical, emotional, mental level, and uh, of course energetic level. Uh, if you want to find out more about uh, the system that, uh, that I teach, that comes from the school Nechi Kung Fu, um, you know, you can go on the website, look the YouTube channels, all, all these kind of things. But um, I really wanted to share this thing because I see on the web loads of uh, misunderstanding and um, it's due to the fact that this thing cannot be seen or proven like the spiritual field, you know, it's a mess, it's a becoming a circle because any, anybody shows up and gives suggestions and things. I don't feel in that space, I just execute what I've been told and I have my experience, so I uh, stand from that point.
but uh, we have to be very careful about these things especially if we want to do and we want to achieve you know uh, some kind of result make sure that you know uh, what you're doing make sure to investigate your teacher and make sure to <laughs> do the, the proper research first and then actually spending some time on it because otherwise maybe you waste uh, time here uh, sometimes I have um, people want to become my students who had been practicing for decades and things like this and they I try to investigate the sensations and the things they have experienced and it's, it is a shame for me to see that um, there's not much to talk about um, and this is due to the fact that once my teacher told me hey you have to find the right tool <laughs> and the right teacher even if the teacher is not that great, you know, if you learn the right tool in the right way, you apply it, um, you get some result. That's why it's not really important, um, in one sense, the teacher, but it is important that the tool that we are applying works and that we can verify for ourselves that is bringing some result. It's not just some kind of theory and fantasy. I'm totally against the word imagine or energy. When energy, I try to use it as less as I can, only when it is essential. Because um, it's something that it has loads of potential to transform our life on a physical, emotional, mental, energetic level. Everything is powered by, like, like the car from the energy we put in the tank, right? So it's a shame that uh, we stay only into concept, intellectual things, when in reality um, the experience of Qi gets to a level that it, it is uh, powerful and grows, grows the more you practice if you do the right thing. <laughs>